Hello, welcome to the show. Oh my gosh, it's happening. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here for the very first KJ Today Show. Um, I'm KJ. Uh, so if you found this on YouTube and you don't know me, yay, you're going to get to know me. Uh, you're in the right place to have a good time, to join a community uh, that is all about positive vibes. We love talking pop culture. Um, people to know like celebrities that we will be having on and we have a big announcement coming up and uh, and pets because there is a chance that one of our seven rescues will come through here at some point. Uh, I am going to go ahead and bring our crew in here to introduce everyone because I don't like to be by myself anyway. So please uh, welcome to the show producer Jana and producer Patches. I am so excited. You guys, we made it. <laughs> yes, we <Yay>. did. <laughs> so do we tell I wanna I'm gonna tell everybody we got this thing like locked down, <laughs> so organized, and with seven minutes to go, everything fell apart. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect with us, honestly? Everything! Like, I have some clips that I was hoping to play for you tonight that I will be unable to play. Uh, my microphone quit working. We all had to log out and log back in. And then, I kid you not, it just started working. Like, <laughs> we're like trying different things. But it, it, Pat, producer Patches is like, well, that's working. I'm like, well, yep. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm and I'm downstairs in Studio B, so uh, it's uh, yes. yeah, I couldn't I couldn't run up to get you taken care of. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this is the KJ Today Studio. It is uh, powered by the kind of nerdy girls. Uh, as you can see, we have look. I did a really good job of pointing to Captain America and Black Widow with us tonight. Uh, and we are very excited about Doctor Strange uh, opening. We're gonna be going tomorrow night, so I'm gonna be uh, talking a little bit about that. Um, but for starters, I wanna first say thank you to Paul Miller who created that amazing jam that we just had for the intro uh, for the KJ Today Show. Uh, Paul is, if you listen to my podcast, The Kind of Nerdy Girls, Paul is the guy that created the very catchy kind of nerdy girls uh, jam. He uh, is the guy behind the opening to Paranormal Crossroad. So incredibly talented. Um, so I just wanted to start off with, um, you know, some positive vibes and being grateful. Uh, what can you expect from the show tonight? Well, uh, it's Star Wars Day. So can we take a moment to just celebrate and say, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> and thank you, Paul, again, in case you didn't get that. Thank you so much, Paul. Uh, on uh, tonight's show, as part of Star Wars Day, we are going to be talking about um, Star Wars and Jonna's first time watching it. So we're going to be introducing producer Jonna to you. You'll get to know her a little bit more and um, some of her very first interesting takes because it was <laughs> it was during the pandemic. It's been within the yeah. last year, right? Yep. That you uh, you watched Star Wars. Yep. Okay. All pandemic right. Gave me a lot of time. I was like, why not? All right. So some fun stuff going there. Uh, I want you uh, all who are watching right now to start giving us your good news at the end of the show. It's going to be a uh, whose good thing was good enough. And we're going <laughs> to announce one of your <laughs> good news. I still can't believe we call it that. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a John, that was an inside thing. Like when we were planning the show, I'm like, I want to do tell me something good. If you watched my radio show, if uh, you follow me on social media, you know that Tuesdays we dedicate to all good news. Um, I do this on my radio show on Shine 99 as well. Uh, so something good that's going on in your life. Uh, I will ask you, Jonna, to be the judge of who's something good is good enough for oh, no. the, then the show. Don't be mean to me if I don't pick your thing. Okay. okay. Listen, I'm going to put, put the pressure on everybody else with their good news because our Tell Me Something Good today is star wars related true and it is about a very special make-a-wish kid 
who's all grown up now, but Star Wars uh, changed his life and his experience at Star Wars Celebration um, in many ways changed all of us who know him. So that is going to be coming up on the show. Uh, along with Jana talking about some interesting first time observations <laughs> and coming up good friend of the show and uh, our very first sponsor to sign on immediately PopCon, uh, which is happening June 3rd through the 5th. All of Star Wars Indiana is going to be there. Uh, it's if you love Star Wars, it's a great convention to go to. And that's just like the tip of the iceberg. So we're going to be talking about what's going on with PopCon. And I have a, a, a special game planned for Carl, who's going to be joining us from PopCon. I was talking to him last night and he's like, I'm going to have to rewatch everything. And I, I told him it wasn't trivia, but it's going to be like, <laughs> think fast stuff. So that's <laughs> all I'm giving you, Carl, who's in the green room right now. Um, I do uh, want to let you know, there's so many cool things going on. This show, and I'm going to try not to cry. This show has been in the works for a really long time. And, and I'm crying. Um, it was an idea that I had at a time where I thought I was getting a really big opportunity and really it was it, it, shut up and play music and and it's fine um but it got it got shelved and it you know crushed my soul a little bit at the time but it the reason it got shelved looking back and this is an important part of the positive vibes of this show is because it wasn't time yet and and the time was now um so thank you for being here thank you for supporting me um, as a, a member of the Indianapolis community, I want you to know that my goal is to bring back all of those things that we used to do together. It was so easy when I could just be in your car with you. Um, and the past few years, I've just been on social media and that's different, right? It's a different relationship. I want to get back to what we had. I want to get back to feeling like we're a part of each other's lives, knowing what's going on with you, talking about what's going on in the community um, and sharing all of the wacky things that are happening here. Like, hey, I launched my show and my microphone didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as uh, we go about the night, uh, your feedback is, is wonderful. I would love to see in your comments uh, where you are watching, because I know that the, the KJ community has grown um, and it's not just Indianapolis. So please comment right now where you're watching. Um, and Jana, do we have the, the, the graphic for where people can go? Uh, um, yes. This is our, right so this is the first big announcement. This is grassroots <laughs> stuff here, guys. So with show number one, um, we're going to start counting you as our crew because I don't make a show without you. I've never made a show without you. Uh, so I would like to assign you a crew number. And this is an opportunity for you when we're at events or when you're making comments to say, hey, KJ, checking in. I'm crew number eight. Um, I'm crew number 57. Because when we get to our first 100 crew number, we're going to do a giveaway. Uh, when we get to 200 crew members, we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to start doing parties so that we can get together as a crew. Jada's over here dancing. like She's like, yeah, we're going to have parties again. Uh, so that link right there, super easy to fill out. Just your name, your email. Um, and when we get done with the show, you'll get an email from us that says, this is your crew number. And for as long as this show goes on, as long as there's a KJ Today show, you are officially a part of it and you will always be a part of it. And nobody can take that away from you. Um, so please, please go to kjcrew.com, get your crew number and know that we have some more stuff planned around what we're going to be doing with the KJ crew. Uh, but this is just the beginning. Uh, the hardest part of this is I used to do five hours and we've got an hour. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I want to get to our first guest. Can we do that? Jonna, are you ready for this? I don't know. All right. It's a little stressful over here. <laughs> Trying to keep you on track, KJ. <laughs> I feel like we have, so we have some music that will be added to the show. But again, tonight you're in the beginning with us. It's just going to keep growing and growing. Uh, but our very first guest, 
uh, is a very dear friend. He is definitely a part of the KJ crew, and I am honored to be a part of the PopCon family. Uh, get him out of the green room. Let's get Carl <laughs> from PopCon on the show with us. <gasps> Hi, Carl. What's Yay. going on? Oh, my gosh. It's exciting to be talking fun stuff and not who's posting this on Facebook. <laughs> It's not, this isn't necessarily work talk. Yeah. It's not, it's not. Have you uh, marked Star Wars Day officially? Apparently you don't get to be a part of the show there. Yeah. <laughs> Have you marked Star Wars Day? Have you had an opportunity to to celebrate May the 4th? Well, yeah, I was, I, I was down at uh, Fox 59 this morning for our, uh, for our broadcast with the Star Wars Indiana. So that was a lot of fun. Oh, I saw it. Were there some official lightsabers in the hands of the uh, the crew there at uh, Indy now? Yeah, they were having a, they were having a blast. <laughs> uh, so much fun. So let's start. I've got a Star Wars game for you, but let's start by <laughs> just kind of talking about PopCon because when we when we talk about the you know this show and what I want it to be, I want it to be that people know that they can come here and find out the things they should be doing. And we are, oh my God, I just looked at the, I, I'm just realizing that May the 4th means that we're less than a month away from PopCon. Yes, with this a month would be our Saturday, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, we're okay, we're okay, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, all right, Carl, so before we play our Star Wars game, which is gonna stress you out, I want you to have fun. And uh, just kind of tell everybody about what you have planned for the ninth year of Indy's local pop culture convention. Okay, so let's see if I can even remember half of it. Uh, so we've got all the everything that we've had before. We've got uh, hundreds of vendors. We're going to have hundreds of events. We've got... Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not. I, I am so not used to controlling the stream. It is so freaking me out. Okay, so um, it's not your show, Carl. I, I, know, I know it's just it's just hilarious. Okay, so uh, so we've got the the entire. This is our third annual uh, international film festival, which is growing by leaps and bounds. We've got the podcast awards with and live podcasting. We've got esports and laser tag and escape room and uh, virtual reality and but we've also grown the virtually or virtual reality to we're having a contest with independent virtual reality companies coming to show off uh vr games that you likely have not played uh, and that's going to be a, a lot of fun so we've rebooted the reboot awards for those of you that have become to popcon for many years uh that's we, we amazing. had, we had so, a few yeah we had a few year few year gap in between but we brought the reboot awards back yeah so companies who do like this is what they do they do vr and they, they are they're they, coming yeah, yeah from they create all over. it yeah so from all over yeah and we just get to play I mean, you just get to play and we oh, get to critique them, and how fun's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we it, get to we get to play and judge. <laughs> well, yes and no. So yeah, but okay. the, the goal is to play. The goal is to to bring virtual reality to. Uh, it, it's become very, very, very popular. F Facebook and well, Meta has made it very easy uh, with just a three hundred dollar headset. But that doesn't mean that it's been in everybody's hands yet. And VR is really cool. So and it's only going to keep getting better. Um, I have I haven't done it yet, Carl. I need to try this at PopCon. Okay, all right, yeah, we'll get you. I can't wait to. See but that. I don't want anybody filming me because I remember the who was the the actress from Glee that we had that was she was doing the VR and I was watching her do it and I'm like, oh my god, I never want anyone to watch me do this. <laughs> it, it yeah, it, that's not the point. I know, I know. When, when the headset's on, you're in your own world. Who cares what you look like? That's not. The point. That's true. That's, that's been my. Point. That's been my whole life, Carl. If the headphones are on, <laughs> I'm in my own world. That's right. <laughs> that's the whole point. Um, what else we've got? Uh, Talk about uh, the Squid Game. Yeah. Okay. So we. I was. I was kind of holding that one for last, but we'll we'll, we'll jump straight to Squid Game. That, but we've also got panels and workshops, and we've got all the regular stuff. We got everything. Just. Uh, almost too much content that you could do in one weekend. It's fantastic. Um, but yes, we've, we're doing a Squid Game. So for those that are not familiar with the Netflix series that came out last year, Squid Game brings people together for a competition with uh, that the outcome is one winner. And I'm not going to ruin Squid Game itself. Um, but it's the uh, we're going to mimic it to the point where we're going to have 
the same six games, or not same six games. We're also going to have a quantity of six games, but they're American style, not Korean style. And we haven't okay. told we haven't told anybody what they are. So there's no way that people can prepare for what the games are. And uh, these are so if you haven't watched Squid Games, uh, these are games anybody could play. They're like things we did in our childhood, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's no like you can't prepare for it. There's no yeah. There's skill. yeah. There's there's well yeah. They're all skill based. Okay. They are all skill based, um, but uh, none of them are things that people cannot do. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> okay. So people can they they need to sign up ahead of time to do this. Yes. They won't know exactly what they're doing, but it is games that they're go going to be able to do. Yeah, and everybody's yeah. going to have fun whether they're playing or just watching. It's okay. uh, it and it it weeds people uh, it weeds people out pretty quickly. So it we're going to go from hundreds of people to just one winner, and that one winner is going to get a lifetime three day badge to Popcorn. What? I don't know any con that has ever offered such, but we're going to give a lifetime. Three day back. Three days. Oh my gosh. Three days That's for life. We, so, will we be able to? Because I'm like, no way. I'm, you know, no, no way. I'm doing well. You're gonna have me too busy at PopCon to do it anyway. But, <laughs> me too. <laughs> like, right. We don't get to do it. Um, but uh, you know, like, I forget what I was gonna ask. I was like, it's like, oh, you have to be uh, either a VIP holder. Okay. Which How do you is, do it? A VIP okay. holder is guaranteed a spot if they want one. They don't have okay. to. Okay. Okay. Um, because we want as many people to participate as possible. So VIPs automatically get a spot if they want one. Okay. Uh, and and three-day badge holders will fill in the rest. So you have to at least be a three-day badge holder or a VIP. Uh, and if we go over a certain quantity, uh, we may have to have a lottery to fill the to fill it full. So if we have too many people signing up. Uh, there will be a lottery of those three-day badge holders. Again, the VIPs okay. are automatically in if they want to, and uh, the the three days will fill in the rest. Okay, so it's really uh, it 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 would be a really good idea to go to uh, the PopCon website, which you can see right now. Um, get yourself your tickets in advance and get yourself signed up for uh, for PopCon Squid Game. And this is just, I think it's it's one of the things that I love about PopCon is that you and, and the crew every year are working so hard to create unique experiences. It's not just a convention. It is a weekend of experience in the pop culture world. Yep. Um, even the, Le even the Lego uh, display is huge Lego like display this year. It's, it, it's, it, it, if my math is correct, it's larger than a basketball court. That's amazing. It's amazing. So uh, you'll be hearing more about PopCon. And thank you to everybody who's watching on the uh, PopCon Facebook page. And thank you, Carl, for all the support. And I've got one more. Since you brought up Squid Games and threw me off track, okay. we've, also, we've also partnered with Indie Pride. And Friday, yes. June 3rd is Pride Night at PopCon. Full on, let your, let your pride flag fly. Not that you couldn't do that all weekend anyway, because right. that is perfectly okay. But we've we've finally we finally worked on a great partnership, and uh, I, we we are so excited to be working with Indie Pride and also supporting them and their efforts for Pride, which is the weekend, the Pride Festival and the parade, which is the weekend after. And their programming started already on Sunday, this last Sunday, so it's technically already Pride Month in the eyes of Indianapolis. So uh, we're really we're really happy and. Um, I'm near the end of uh, an amazing event, ne nearing the end of signing the contract on an amazing event for that Friday night. You um, are? Yeah. So knock on wood. Okay. Knocking on wood. Um, okay. Um, we're going to have something spectacular, even if it doesn't pan out. But um, I'm really excited about this one. So So it, plan, it's plan on Friday night of PopCon, June 3rd, being the pride party. Yep. Right? That's right. It's going to be. I love it. Yeah. And we have to, I'm going to like spoil this. Carl, but we have to like I, even if I even if I go rogue, uh, there has to be some sort of uh, pride parade through the vendor hall. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right? yeah. We've, we, yeah, that's been discussed, and uh, I've uh, also th thought about having um, uh, newbie drag queens. So 
it, there, there's lots of things we could try, and, but it's okay. all we ha we're we're in a short window of being able to plan it. But yeah. I would love I would love the opportunity for queens that aren't old enough to participate in bar situations to be able to come out oh and 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 uh, perform at Pride. Yeah. How, how cool would that be? Because that we don't, would be really cool. We don't care. We don't care if you're under 21. That would um, that that would be fantastic. Yeah, it's just it's cool little things like that. And yes, I, I hope people wear their pride colors, whatever those colors are, uh, just to just to support themselves, just support the community. Uh, and and again, this isn't just this isn't just a Friday thing. It it's named it on Friday, but it's an all weekend thing. It's been in every popcorn thing. It has. It, so it has. It's just it finally worked out that there was this official alliance mm -hmm. between popcorn, which is this wonderful convention that's been going on for nine years and community and local focused and what pride is doing. And, um, I, I, th I think it's just going to get bigger and, and better every single year. So, um, all right, Carl, I, uh, have a little game plan for you all and right. this will be, for those of you watching, this will be a game, uh, that, will occur on the regular here on the KJ Today Show. Uh, it will have different topics, so it will always be fun. And if you uh, listen to the kind of nerdy girls, then you know that uh, this is a game that we play sometimes on the podcast. So Carl, there's no planning for this. It is the Star Wars edition of One Must Go. Oh, so I, all right. All right. I, I am just going to give you two Star Wars characters and okay. we will build upon this. And that means they're, uh, they are uh, erased from existence. Okay. We're not, Com I mean, completely out of canon. They never even existed. Never happened. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So I, I'm not going to take it easy on you either. Uh, for those of you watching who, you know, aren't <laughs> celebrating Star Wars Day, you're going to recognize these names. We're not going deep into uh, in, 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 in the uh So, all right, Carl. So we're going to start right away. Star Wars Day, one must go. Luke or Leia? Gone. Gone. Gone, gone. Wow, you went straight <laughs> for the jugular on the first one. Listen, man, I don't have a five-hour show anymore. So, I got one hour here. One of them died. This one of one of the twins died on the table. I don't well, like gonna... to talk. I don't like to talk about dying. I like more of the Thanos, like they just like blip. <laughs> okay, well, that was that was awesomely morbid. Thank you so much. I, I Carl, this show is a place for positivity, okay? <laughs> yeah. Here comes Carl with dead baby smack. Good uh, job, listen, buddy. Sorry. Do not, do not harsh my positive vibes, dude. <laughs> I, I am sorry to Carrie Fisher, but Leia's gone. Oh, I'm devastated. And, and, and it's partially because I, uh, our, I, as Carl, don't care about the Slave Leia outfit that she she sported in Return of the Jedi. Um, I, but I, I understand. But yeah, I don't, it's it's tough to get rid of any Skywalker because they're the whole reason for the series. But there we go. Okay. All right. You, gave, you, you, gave, you gave it to me. I had to choose. All right. All right. So uh, then let's go uh, uh, Luke or Ray. Oh, now we're doing that. <laughs> well, yeah. I was no, gonna listen. I was gonna go a different route. That one, this one, th this one's easier. So no Palpatines. So I, okay. I will definitely go with Luke on that one. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, let's do uh, Han or Chewie. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> uh, I, I, I God. <laughs> This is, think, this is the last time you'll see Carl on our show. Thank you, well, Carl. This is, this, I'm, I'm going to get hate mail, but the uh, I, I'm going to actually have to get rid of Han because I think Chewie has been more influential over the entire course of the series. You know, I, I like that. It's true. He's been, I mean, <laughs> but I yeah. mean, not to get morbid again, but to Han's defense, he didn't mean to go get killed. <laughs> like, right, right. Freaking, freaking Kylo. Um, all right. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, R2 Chewie, D2. Chewie's a Chewie's a much better shot too, by the way. Yeah, he is. R two D two or BB eight. BB eight. You're getting rid of BB eight. No, oh, R two R two is also a pivotal pivotal droid in the entire Star Wars universe that we know of. Pivotal. All right, all right, all right. And now I'm gonna let you uh, 
turn this thing around and you can put it on me. Oh, I have to get you, get, get you, uh, yep. <laughs> oh no. I, I have never stumped Carl in my life. No, you're no. not stumping me. I'm just trying to go for a, a, a completely outlandish one. How about, mm -hmm. um, okay. I'm ready. I mean, I'm not cause you're going to make this difficult for me. No, probably not. Okay. Uh, Wicket or Jar Jar Binks? Oh my gosh. I mean, Jar Jar Binks. Like, could he, I mean, is there a way to make that I can make him go away? <laughs> is there a way? Like, cause it's like, bye. <laughs> I think, you know, what's interesting about Jar Jar Binks is the, the generational thing. Um, a lot of like my, my, I mean, like, my nephews, Carl, I tried so hard. My nephews had not seen Star Wars when they moved here. And I was like, I can't have this. Like, you got to watch Star Wars. And yes. so we were watching them on the Blu-rays because this was before they were e even easily streamed. And, you know, I have the Blu-rays and we were watching them, going through them. And I was trying to not show them the prequels. <laughs> and I left it sitting out in plain sight one day and my uh, one nephew was like, oh, there's more Star Wars. And I'm like, oh crap. Yeah, there is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but a whole lot more. Watching them watch those prequels, I mean, they immediately like, you know, they responded to Jar Jar Binks. And I, you know, I had to say, I'm not going to tell you, you can't like him. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> if you ever use that voice in my house again, you don't get to sleep over at my house anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was interesting to kind of see how, you know, I, it, it didn't, that obviously didn't do well for uh, us grown adults, but I think there were some kids that that appealed to. And I'm like, okay, well, I won't hate Jar Jar Binks completely. That's, uh, that's why Lucas made him. It's for kids. Eh, all right. Well, all about, all about the toy. Carl, uh, you are, you know, you're welcome to to hang around here, but I don't want you to to feel like you have to if you, you got better things to do. You're like, this show wasn't as good as I hoped. <laughs> uh, and I do, again, want to just say thank you um, for all of the support that PopCon has given to me over the years. Um, I had the opportunity to do uh, a KJ PopCon pass at the very first PopCon. And that was right when I was sort of getting into cons and we didn't have a con in Indianapolis. So that, I mean, I've, you know, grown up as much as you can grow up where I'm at. Um, I've grown up with PopCon and it is, you know, just near and dear to my heart. So thank you for what you do every year for the community. And thanks for what you do for, for me as well. Well, we thank you too. All right, Jada, I'm going to bring you in here to talk a little bit of Star Wars. Chris. Jada uh, had not seen Star Wars in, uh, until the pandemic. Uh, and, I, you know, uh, I I would find it interesting for maybe if Carl wants to hang around for the conversation. <sighs> um, before we get to that, I want to let you guys uh, know, one, oh, my God, you're here. Like... Jonna, people are here and they're watching. I know, I'm looking at it. Uh, if you can't watch the whole show tonight, it will be on demand on Friday morning. So you can listen in your car, kind of like we used to be together in the car. Uh, if you go to uh, kjtodayshow.com, all the ways to watch and all the ways to listen are right there. And um, coming up next week, we have a, a, a huge guest, Jonna. We've oh. got from... From Twilight. Don't make me cry. Oh my gosh. Can you believe <laughs> this is happening? Uh, from Twilight next week, special guest, Peter Facinelli. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Can you believe this is this? Literally, literally, when you said that to me, I screamed. I was laying in my bed and I was like, ah! Well, you know what is a, a little inside for, for you all? What was really funny about this is that I sent it to producer Patches and to Jonna. And I immediately, when Jonna was like, OMG, what? Question mark, question mark, exclamation point. And I immediately said to her, 
it's okay. You don't have to be on the interview because our entire lives together, when I've done an interview, John doesn't want to be anywhere near the celebrity, right? You're right. <laughs> You're not wrong. Any part of it. Uh, if I make her be there, she just like smiles and occasionally does a, uh-huh. Yeah. You, oh, guys, yeah. you guys are so great at this. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So she was like, no, I want to. Uh, so we are going to be have having Peter on. He's got a new movie coming out um, and he's going to be joining the show next week. And while we're talking about what's going on next week that I definitely don't want you to miss, I also have another special guest who will be uh, joining me celebrating 20 years since he changed my life. Dave Smiley from The Smiley Show will be joining us on the KJ Today Show. For those of you uh, who don't know, uh, Smiley is, he's why I'm here. I don't want to be on, I didn't want to be on the microphone. I uh, i actually actively avoided it. And uh, he, we, I was in programming. We hired him 20 years ago. He called me that very first morning and said, I thought there'd be a party. I thought people would be here. I've never done a show myself. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll come in. And I kept, I kept coming in for 14 years. So he is near and dear to me. And I'm very excited to celebrate that uh, he's hit his 20 year milestone. So next week on the KJ Today Show, there will be a little reunion of uh, KJ and Smiley. So hang on to, uh, hang on to your seats. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a good time. I have other things scheduled and I don't know that that's going to work. <laughs> no, nah, if Dave's here, that's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, another uh, sponsor that I want to say thank you to before we get to uh, Jana and her first reactions to Star Wars as we celebrate the premiere of the KJ Today Show on Star Wars Day. Indiana owned um, is uh, such a wonderful organization. My dear friend Mel, who also came from the radio uh, industry, founded this and has helped so many local businesses uh, just grow and connect and help people find them. Like that's the hardest part about being a local business is that, you know, the, the marketing that you need. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm telling you, like, I need you to share the show. I need you telling your friends. I need you to hit share on the KJ Today Show stuff. This It doesn't happen without you. And um, so much of the success of companies like my own small business uh, would not be it would not be happening without Indiana owned. So if you are looking for what number one, if you have a small business, go to Indiana owned.com and join our community because Mel is just a fabulous resource to have in the community that is there is very supportive. And if you're looking to you're looking for anything, like there's something going on in your house that needs to be fixed. There's something that you want to buy and it's important to you to shop local Indiana owned Dot com. Uh, you can search the directory and find amazing people who are working their butts off every day, running their small local business. So um, thank you to Indiana Owned for jumping in here right away and being a big part of the KJ Today Show. There's so many more things I can't wait to tell you about with that partnership. But let's uh, let's talk about Star Wars Day oh, and how a day not too long ago. Uh, during the pandemic, I was scrolling Twitter and <laughs> I uh, came across a tweet from my dear producer, Jana. And I was like, she's watching Star Wars. Like, she's live tweeting watching Star Wars. I've been trying to get producer Jana to watch <laughs> Star Wars since like the day that we met. And she goes and starts watching Star Wars and is telling Twitter about it mm -hmm. and not me. Yeah. Excuse me. Like, what is happening right now? I was offended, Jada. <laughs> but it's not like I didn't text you <laughs> after the fact. After <laughs> you were on Twitter well, I first. Was, okay, I was going to watch it and not tell anybody. Actually, it took me a long time to tweet about it because I knew you would see it. And I was like, I'm not going to tweet about it because I want to impress her with all of my Star Wars knowledge. Like when mm -hmm. I watch all the movies. <laughs> <laughs> that did not work out well for me. <laughs> you, you actually thought that you were going to get through the entire Star Wars mm -hmm. series and just start blowing my mind with this trivia that yeah. you knew. Yeah. 
I did. Well, it did not work because you went to Twitter and I was like, hey, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I am offended. <laughs> I'm going to flag this tweet. I'm so offended. She said report. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Jana, mm -hmm. there are, so I'll tell you, there are some wonderful moments in the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast, which is uh, now a part of the KJ Today Show. Yay. If you subscribe to us on YouTube and uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube because when we get to a thousand followers, big things happen. And we're at like 180 right now. So really? we need, yeah. Nice. But like people have been like coming to, to YouTube today and finding us. What? I know. Oh, I mean, it's amazing. People like people want this. Uh, so if you go back, you can uh, listen to the kind of nerdy girls podcast. And and there are some magical moments with Jonna's first experiences with Star Wars. But uh, the most I think the 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 most shocking to me was of everything that was happening. Well, hang on. <laughs> the most shocking to me. What I wasn't going to tell you right now. The most shocking to me was that she didn't tell me <laughs> the second most shocking was that she watched them in the wrong order uh, oh gosh can we let that go no let it go no because you were tweeting about hayden christensen and you hadn't seen the originals well, yet. he's hot so like i know <laughs> that's a different conversation uh so but number three was of all of the things that are going on in this amazing star wars universe that i love so much and Carrie Fisher is is my hero. When you walk into our home, there is a a picture of Carrie Fisher that says "May the fourth, may the fourth be with you." <laughs> may the force be with you. May the force be with you. Um, and that came from this wonderful wish kid who we're going to be telling you about in "Tell Me Something Good" coming up here in about ten minutes. Uh, but I was like, of everything in this amazing Star Wars universe. You're stuck on on Anakin's hair. Uh, yeah, because it was awful. Okay. Yeah, it was I'm, terrible. I'm, Did you see it? Like, I got four eyes over here. Like, literally, I have four eyes over here, and I like almost wanted to take my glasses off. That haircut was so bad. <laughs> like, I was like, I could like literally. I want this to be blurry. This is so bad. Like, <laughs> who? Who was in charge of the haircuts on the Star Wars movies? Now, that is a fair, fair point. And Patches, you are welcome to join in if you'd like. And uh, and, and, and Carl, if at any point you want to hop in on the hairstyles of, of Star Wars. Just <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think I'm going to say this. Look at Carl. He looks so like, oh my God, I can't believe we're talking about this. <laughs> I feel like part of it was because it was the the 90s. But it those were late 90s. That I mean the family came I, out okay, in like have... 99. Strike the record. I have no Strike defense for this. Record. Carl, do you have any defense for the uh, for Anakin's hair? Not a not a direct defense, <laughs> but if if we're concerned about the hair, we're not watching the movie. Oh no, I was watching <laughs> Carl. Jonathan. Trust me, I was watching the movie and I was getting all of Carl. If you know anything about me, anybody who knows me, I can definitely tell you the plot of a movie literally right after I've seen it. Unlike somebody I know, okay, hey, rude. <laughs> I can memorize a movie and I can tell you all the themes and all the things, but the, just the little haircuts, the clothes, the, mm, that doesn't make sense to me. That, that, that's something that sticks in my brain. That's what really bothers me the most. So, so as you're watching bad hairdos, do you realize that the waterfalls on Naboo are not CGI? <laughs> yeah. You knew that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You did? Yeah. Okay. It didn't well, look like okay. CGI. Oh, okay. Cool. I've seen real waterfalls in real life, guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was like not. Because it wasn't wow. water. It was salt. Nice. It was salt? It was it was a fine grain. I'm pretty sure it was salt, yes. So it wasn't water. But they were what? But Why they were of, CGI. Of all the things that weren't CGI. <laughs> Why did they like 
They're like, no, the waterfalls need to be salt. Yeah. <laughs> because it was like the the prequels were a an an explosion of CGI. Like, Literally. look what and I can do. Yeah, I can do John so Williams much stuff. or not John Williams, George <laughs> yeah. Lucas literally threw up CGI. And I always I always <laughs> reference Re Revenge of the Sith. Like that after the opening credits, like that first thing when they when they pan down on Coruscant and you see that that battle of all the ships above it, it was just like, yeah, I can do this. So, ha ha. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say something. I was, <laughs> I was gonna say naughty words, but I, I stopped myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the KJ Today Show. We don't say naughty words. I know. KJ Today Show. Gosh, you know how many bad words I had to bleep out of the clips that we're not even playing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! Let, so listen. First of all, patches. I think that the pizza's here. Yay. Oh my god! <laughs> so I, the doorbell just rang. Patches is gonna go get. Look, he was so quick to go get pizza. He's like, I'm not even fixing the shot. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get the pizza. We love pizza over here. <laughs> okay. I don't even know. I don't know what I was talking about. I'm having so much fun. Look, also, I just want to point out that two things bothered me besides, like, one other thing bothered me besides the hair. Okay. Is that everyone was so shocked when Anakin went to the dark side. <laughs> I was like, are y'all actually shocked or are you just jokingly Wait, shocked? Did you buy it? What? That's one of the, the biggest issues I have is that I didn't. I didn't feel like I got enough to believe that Anakin, Anakin would go to the dark side. I mean, like they did not sell me on that. I mean, I kind of, I got it a little bit, kind of like. If we're going there, then I don't get the love story either. Oh no! Oh, I definitely don't get the love story no, at all. No, there I was don't... nothing about that. No, there was nothing get... about that that made sense. But so, have you actually seen Star Wars yet, or just the prequels? Just the prequels. She's I've seen the prequels. Okay, girl. can you? She quit. Uh, I... She's a quitter. It's not that I quit. She quit. Okay, I have other things to do. No, you do not. Yes, I do. Next week, don't be here for the show. Watch Star Wars. Yeah, like you'll let that happen. <laughs> Which she's said. <laughs> All right. Oh we'll see how well you guys are getting along without me. <laughs> By the way, guys, we we have not talked about Moon Knight because none of us have seen it. I I know that the the uh, finale was today. And uh, that's going to transition us to boom, boom. We got to talk about other things because holy crap, we have 12 minutes of show left. Good thing we didn't uh, have those clips, Jonna, because I sure didn't have time for them. <laughs> <laughs> um, tomorrow night, we're going to be at Studio Movie Grill. The kind of nerdy night out is back. Carl, I'd love to have PopCon back uh, in on that if you would like to join us. Uh, we are going to see Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, I did take a look at a few of the reviews and people are really loving it. Uh, John is cracking up about something. So uh, because our going. very good friend, Shelly Harper, a.k.a. Conquest Journals, go yes. by her journals. Um, she just texted me and said, oh, my God, watch Clone Wars. <laughs> <laughs> In all caps. <laughs> yeah. Jonna, you need to watch Clone Wars because there's that whole argument that we have on a regular basis about whether uh, regular Anakin or animated Anakin is hotter. And we can't even have that. Okay, animated Anakin's not hot. Like you I, don't know, you didn't see. Yes, huh? No. We had a whole argument about You've it. You've seen pictures. You haven't seen his his growth, <laughs> his development. His face his isn't struggle. hot. Hayden Christensen's face is hot. And we can't have this talk right now. Okay, That'll be I, next week. That'll okay, be next whatever. week. I'll be next week. We got things to do, Donna. Okay, things to do. Uh, we're gonna. I'm. I, I want to get to our tell me something good. So, Jada, you're mm. in charge of. Finding a good that was good enough while I uh, do this moment. What is that, Carl? What? It, oh, it's a Darth Vader. Oh, it's a Ooh, Darth Vader it? Buddha. It's a Darth Vader Buddha. Oh. I love everything that is happening right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's show and tell time. So we got Darth Vader Buddha. Uh, I'm going to need to know where you got that, but you don't have to necessarily say right now. Look at this, guys. Look at this. It's Darth Vader with a kitty cat. That looks like oh. Johnny Storm. <laughs> it's Darth Vader. Like, I know there's a ring like Johnny Storm's an angel. I told you Johnny Storm's an angel. He has a halo. Look at that. Johnny Storm's an angel. Um, I found this print 
yesterday at Hampton Design Studio and Shop in Irvington. Um, that's where we're doing our next Paranormal Crossroad event. So if you want to know more about that, go to my website. Um, but I was, I literally was like, this was meant for me. This is Darth Vader and a little Johnny <laughs> Storm. <laughs> So it will be framed because I just didn't have time. I just got it yesterday. And I was like, oh my gosh, like who knew that this, who's like, I'm going to make Darth Vader with a cat. First of all, someone who has a cat. <laughs> right? And then they're like, I'm going to make Darth wrong. Vader. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so uh, what do we have? We have Chewbacca berries. Oh my gosh. I didn't know there was a cereal. There Kid? isn't. It's a t-shirt. Oh, is it? Oh, oh, and you've never taken it out. Oh my gosh. I'm a See? collector. That's that's <laughs> sacrilege. There's probably mold in Am that I, box is and it, everything. Is there gonna be a problem if I take uh Darth Vader and Kitty out and frame it, Carl? Okay. Uh, Carl, you can't distract me. I got I got eight I got eight minutes. You can't. Oh he's so cute. Oh okay, fine. I got I've got the child back here. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm gonna uh, grab my child. Hang on. I'm gonna grab my child. How aggressive! Uh, this is this is the only child I've ever had besides cats. This is my child. I'm cracking up. All right. All right. We're doing Star Wars show and tell. Yes, we didn't even have I this can... on the roadmap, Jada. It's uh, great, isn't it? On a, yeah. Great that we're totally away from the roadmap. <laughs> I'm not stressed at all. <laughs> okay. The KJ Today Show is also brought to you by Indie Holistic Hub. And uh, you know, I'm all about positive vibes. And with my show, Paranormal Crossroad, premiering last year, I got in touch with some of the amazing people at Indie Holistic Hub. <sighs> and it can be everything from... From herbs to chiropractors who are using holistic methods to energy healing to the holistic realtor. Um, if you have any questions about anything that has to do with holistic healing, they have an amazing directory. And if you are in the holistic healing world at all, you're uh, more than welcome to join the hub. Go to IndieHolisticHub.com. Now, Jana, it is... Tell me something good time. Okay. We are um, we are going to get to some community events, and I have a big announcement that is not on the roadmap. John, are you going to kill me? Probably. Please don't. It's positive vibes. <laughs> you kill me on the first show. Uh... <laughs> That's not positive vibes at all. I'll just cry about it when I get home. <laughs> right. right. Jonna's going to, every single roadmap will just have Jonna's sad tears. Because there's nothing about what I do that follows a roadmap. <laughs> I don't even know why we make one. <laughs> also, why are we stressing about how much time we have? Other than the pizza's going to get cold. Uh, you know, you do have a stove, though. I do have a stove. It is, it is actually in the uh, uh, in the oven, so we're good. See, to go. okay, look at patches. Thank you, Thank you patches. Yeah. patches. You're the best, best. John. Yep. Quit stressing. Okay, all right. So um, every show, I want to make sure that we are uh, highlighting something good. That's going to fall into the positive vibes. So uh, there are four things on the show uh, that are very important that we will be talking about, and that is pop culture powered by the kind of nerdy girls. Uh, people to know, which will be celebrity interviews like Peter Fascinelli from Twilight. I hope I'm saying that right. Jada said that's how you say it. So yeah, if I'm saying Fascinelli. it wrong, if I'm saying it wrong, send Jada the, the hate mail. Um, and then <laughs> uh, pets, which we covered, which we, we covered pets because we uh, Darth Vader and a cat. Oh We've gosh. covered everything. Um, and, and, and again, positive vibes, like there's so much that we get inundated with that's not positive. Even if we try in our Facebook feed to like block out all the bad, it just, it comes at us. Right. And so this show, we're not coming at you with anything bad. We're coming at you with all the good. So that is what you can expect from us. And tell me something good has been a part of my radio show forever. It's uh, something I do on Tuesdays. So if you've got good news, hop on my page. If you don't see the tell me something good post, like shoot me a message or, or do a post. Like I want to know about your good news. So before we get to your good news, tonight's tell me something good is a... 
uh, a follow-up. Uh, it's Star Wars Day here. We, as you can tell from the first show, we're very excited about that. I have my Star Wars clock above my head. I'm not a weather person. There's my Star Wars <laughs> clock. There it is. I'm not a weather person. Another show and tell. Star <laughs> Wars clock. There it is. There it is. Uh, so I do a lot of work with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. It's been a part of my life. Um, since I moved here to Indianapolis. And I thought what would be really great tonight for a Tell Me Something Good is to tell you that our wish child, Eli, whose wish was to meet Mark Hamill, uh, it, it was a wish that you guys, so many of you who have been with me for so long, made come true. Um, Jay, I'm going to call out Jay right now. Jay, uh, uh, I, I hope he's watching. He was a, a, a big part of making this happen. And uh, I, I thought we'd maybe reminisce a little bit as I tell you and show you his, his wish was to meet Mark Hamill and he got to go to Star Wars Celebration. So there was so much more to that. So if you're a Star Wars fan, I'm sure you'll appreciate some of these pictures of of Eli, and he's so little there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Eli and I stay in contact. Uh, meeting Mark was amazing for him. Uh, it was impactful. Yeah, I love so that happy. picture. Yeah. It was so impactful for Mark that during the pandemic, Mark actually, I was like, oh my gosh, Mark Hamill still has that picture with Eli. He posted, we could all use a hug right now. And he posted the picture with Eli. And I was like, oh my gosh, it'd okay. been. I'm just going to sob over here. It'd been <laughs> three, four years since that wish. And Mark Hamill still remembered it. And Mark Hamill still had the picture. Um, that's so meaningful. And to be able to tell you that Eli has graduated high school and I still get to hang out with him. He, you know, he comes down here and has to do you know, doctor's visits still. And we get to go if Five Guys is his favorite place. Oh, I love that place. So we meet at Five Guys at 86 in Michigan and then go to Circle City Comics next door. Um, it's just, it, it, uh, I, I can never say enough about the impact of a wish and, it, you know, the impact that it has on everybody uh, uh, that is involved with it. I'm sure that Mark Hamill has done a gazillion wishes. I know he has. He's such a giving person. Um, but that day with Eli, it meant so much. And that picture that I have downstairs that I was telling you about, um, that when you walk in the door, you see you see Princess Leia and it, it, it says, may the force be with you. Eli was at the event that he was at the Star Wars celebration that was right after Carrie passed. And he was one of the, the few people that got to be in the room for uh, Carrie's celebration of life. And he came home and he had so much Star Wars stuff uh, that they just, I mean, Star Wars Celebration gave him one of everything. It was ridiculous. <laughs> but he gave me that. Like he wanted me to have that Carrie Fisher poster. And um, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, isn't that oh. amazing? Isn't that it's it? I mean, it's yeah. it's so meaningful. So that's your tell me something good today. Uh, I feel, uh, you know, I feel bad that we're following it up with somebody else's good news. Whatever your good news is, it's just as good. And that's the thing. Like, tell me something good can be this life changing thing happened. And tell me something good can be, you know what? This coffee was so good today. And if I had not had it, I don't think I would have made it through. So Jada, who's our, who, who's our tell me something good? What's our good Well, news? speaking of life-changing events. Yes. Um, Laura Long, who is watching on YouTube, by Yay! the way. She had a very nice tell me something good, which I think you will also appreciate. Yes. Uh, oh my gosh, don't make it about me, you <laughs> weirdos. I don't want it to be about me. You know what happens when I get embarrassed? I put this up and I hide behind. <laughs> Guys, I don't want <laughs> um, thank you very much, Laura. For those of you who are listening, Laura said off the top of my head, one of my very good and most talented friends debuted her own freaking TV show today. Uh, thank you, Laura. Thank you so much to everybody that put good news out there, like good vibes. 
they uh, it, it, they lift us all up. So thank you very much for doing that. Uh, we are going over because I have some more exciting things to tell you about. We are going to always be doing uh, the uh, KJ Community Event Spotlight. And uh, this just happened, you guys. Like, I can't even believe I get to do this. So you know that tomorrow night we're going to be at Studio Movie Grill for Doctor Strange. Kind of nerdy night out. Friday night, I, <clears throat> I'm getting choked up. Friday night, I get to be the voice for the very first India 11 professional women's team uh -huh. playing their first game Sobs. at Grant Park in Westfield. I am so honored to be doing this. Uh, 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 Patches and I are huge Indy 11 fans. Uh, I'm going to put the schedule up just so you can can see what's going on. Um, their their last game is actually going to be a doubleheader with the men's team mm -hmm. at Carroll Stadium. I get to be there for that too. Oh. Like it was just, it was such an honor. They didn't know that we had this that I had this show um, starting. That didn't know. They just said we. Well, what they said was. JJ from the Indy 11 called and said, <laughs> Morgan asked me if there's any female that I know that would be good at announcing that's like fun and kind of goofy. <laughs> Hi. That's you perfectly. <laughs> I'm fun and kind of goofy. Hi, I'm KJ and I'm fun and kind of goofy. Uh, I will do my best to live up to the expectations of the Indy 11 um, but congratulations to the women that are a part of this inaugural team. Please go and support them. Uh, both the men's and the women's team. Soccer is just so much fun. And the Indy 11 organization is, again, another wonderful, uh, very, very uh, community-focused company. So if you don't have plans on Friday night, join me for the game. And uh, I also wanted to let you know about another event that is happening. Oh, and while I'm pulling that up, we didn't get a chance to talk about, it's Brain Cancer Awareness Month. And that is Go Gray for May. May right? It's and me. it's, thank you. Go, thank you, Jada. <laughs> uh, and so uh, Eli had, um, uh, he, he had a brain tumor. And so it's, it's very cool that, you know, this is the one that we had this. I mean, there's so many reasons why it's so cool that we had this show on May the 4th. Um, KJ, don't start crying. Okay. Because I, I can't handle it. Positive <laughs> Uh, it's, it's so cool that we had this, but then when I was like, you know what, what are we going to do for tell me something good? And you had actually suggested Eli's wish. Like, let's talk about Eli. That's I love like, Eli. I've never met him, but I love him the most. Oh my <laughs> God, you have to meet Eli. I'll see if he can come to PopCon. All right. Uh, yeah, you have to meet Eli. So, so many wonderful things that, um, came along with this. But then to find out that not only are we going to be talking about his wish, but we're talking about his wish in May. And May is, 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 you know, go gray in May for Brain Cancer Awareness Month. And I actually do have a, this makes sense. I have a gray bracelet that's mm -hmm. a Team Eli bracelet. So it's all coming together. Um, and then finally, I do want to mention that there is a really cool play that's going on at Indie Fringe. Love to support local theater. It's called The Twelfth Night. Um, if you go to IndieFringe.org, uh, you can see all of the dates that are running. I have a, a, a really good friend that is a big part of this and uh, sold, uh, uh, sorry, uh, her website. I don't have it up right now, but it's South Bank Theater is her group. Uh, want to make sure that we're talking about things that are going on in the community. So this is one that's getting, it's, it, I mean, it's getting like really, really great reviews and a ton of buzz. It's going to be one of those plays that you're going to say, I was there in the beginning. Oh, I'm uh, so, <laughs> so those are some things that you can do that are community focused. Uh, it's the month of May and, uh, and, 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 this is Indy and Indy 500, man. Uh, so next week we are going to have Jack Harvey on. Yay. His he, accent is awesome. He just sounds so yes. like you just listen to him. Jack is a nerd. So if you're looking for an IndyCar driver to support, Jack loves 
Star Wars, and he loves Harry Potter. And he goes mm -hmm. like, like he's a book guy. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he wants to talk about those kind of things. So uh, a, a really fun guest next week. So remember next week, we've got Jack Harvey that's going to be on with us. Dave Smiley from The Smiley Show, celebrating 20 years in Indianapolis, will be here with me. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Peter Fashionelli's going to be here. <laughs> Can't wait. Um, just a reminder about the uh, the KJ crew. So before we wrap up, and I uh, say my thank you to the many wonderful people, uh, kjcrew.com. Real quick sign up. This is going to assign you a crew number. So when you sign up, it's going to be like, you're going to get a message. Thanks for joining KJ's crew. We'll be in touch with your number. It might be one. It might be 15. It might be 46. When we get to 100, we have a big surprise plan. And the, the crew will get bigger and bigger. It is your number forever. And we're going to have parties. We're going to do giveaways. And I want to see in those comments when you check in, like KJ, it's crew number 19 checking in. As this show goes along and it gets bigger and bigger, it's going to be so fun to be like, oh, my gosh, you were there in the first show. Uh, you were here for the first show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. We love you. I hope that this made your day a little bit better. I hope that you will join us again next Wednesday. We have to um, say thank you to our sponsors who have made this all possible. PopCon, get those tickets, popcon.us. Join us June 3rd through the 5th at Indiana Convention Center. Go check out indianaowned.com and support local and find the local businesses who can help you with whatever you need. Become a member of Indiana Owned if you are an Indiana uh, owned, if you are an Indiana owned company. And finally, Indie Holistic Hub, which is all about the positive vibes, uh, leading you and connecting you to holistic solutions and holistic practitioners in our community. Uh, I, I think that's everything, Jada. I think so. And we're only almost eight minutes over. <laughs> that's okay. No, we're right on time because we started so late oh, because the right. microphone we wasn't working. I, I was microphone. not going to cheat our <laughs> listeners and viewers out of uh, a full 60 minutes of the first KJ Today show. Uh, this will be available on Fridays on demand to listen. So if you hopped in here and you didn't catch the entire show or you're like, man, that was so much fun. I want to do it again on Friday. Uh, <laughs> you can listen to it in your car. Just go to kjtodayshow.com and we will be back next Wednesday with an amazing show and we will be back uh, hopefully many, many Wednesdays. All in the Wednesdays. The future. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, producer Patches, for everything you've done to get us here. Thank you, producer Jana. Uh, we're finally doing this thing. And I am going to wrap up the show by uh, wishing you purrs, love, and light which I always do. Thank you so much for making this such a very, very special evening. The first episode of what I hope is many of the KJ Today Show. Good night, everybody.